highlight um, this news courtesy of resident advisor it says ellen pervico i don't know how you, how you pronounce it ellen percival sorry ellen percival aka dj moon cup <clears throat> identified as person who had died after attending bang face and i've saw this news of course over the weekend bang face is a very popular festival here in the uk and there was news that somebody had passed away within the first couple of days of that festival um the identity of the person obviously wasn't shared or anything but that was a story that was going around and it was absolutely tragic because you know bang face hasn't been on for two and a half years since the pandemic has been on right it's been the first bang bang face since the pandemic and it kind of sold out people are really eager for it loads of great djs playing there and to hear this is just a really tragic news and it's even worse because it's somebody within the community who people knew and loved so you can only just imagine what their family is going through um because it, so it continues it says ellen percival um aka moon cup has been identified as a person in a statement you know, so unresponsive uh, is been identified as a person found unresponsive at bank face last weekend pardon me in a statement posted yesterday may 12th percival's father martin identified ellen as a festival goer confirming that they were found unresponsive at pontin southport holiday park in the morning of friday may 6th their partner called paramedics and percival was taken to a medical hospital where they pronounced dead at 8 30 a.m they were 33 years old man no age to die absolutely tragic ellen was a force of nature and i'm so very proud of my daughter wrote martin they packed more than 33 years into many people can do it no they packed more in 33 years than many people do more than double their numbers of years ellen and partner ollie had just bought a house in bristol oh. We're talking. We're talking about the possibility of starting a family and have a lovely cat called Arthur. Fucking hell, man! Ellen was enjoying their job in the Library of Bristol University. Was finishing off their MS, um, their masters in biological, in biological recording. Totally enjoying their club and DJ work, and always had the multiple projects on the go. Just sounds like an absolute boss, right? Living the dream. Um, you know, starting a family uh pursuing a job in an area that she's obviously in and obviously in an area they're interested in um further education and then doing the, the djing on the side like absolute dream i would miss ellen immensely as will ollie their friends and family the Merseyside police have said that there's no suspicious of foul play there will still be a post-mortem to determine the cause of death as a dj percival played um for parties such as rye wax strange brew and pulse width they were also a regular on Bristol's, Nod Ra Bristol's Nude Radio. Percival's father, partner and friends will hold a memorial picnic um, in their memory in St. George Park, Bristol, Saturday, May 21st, 1pm. Read Martin's post in full and some more tributes below. Uh, Martin's, yeah, Percival, that's the, my apologies, this is the first time you're hearing the sad news. <sighs> Another, another, another post here from Ryowak says we wrote a little tribute for our dear friend Ellen Percival. DJ Moon Cup will forever be missed, forever be a part of Ryowak. Another person's called La Rona Lorima said the following was deeply saddened to hear Ellen's death last week, who I knew 11 years ago in London. They were kind, caring, punk big sister. They went on to carve out their own niche and I've moved and I moved pursuing the project they went to to, to achieve. Rest in power, DJ Moon Cup. Psyche says we were standing to hear about this bit of passing long standing volunteer and close friend, Ellen Percival. They were bitterly missed by many this summer and beyond. DJ RP DJ Moon Cup. Absolutely tragic, isn't it? Um, I don't know, man. It's really, really tragic and really upsetting, especially considering the festival just got started i think it might have been the first day or something so you can just imagine how how weird of a vibe it must have been there at the festival after someone you know was taken ill and then later pronounced dead you can only imagine how that news was received by the family and friends you know going to a festival you have no you have it doesn't even cross your mind that you're gonna not come home you know what i mean especially if family and friends are not thinking you're not going to come home after going to a festival, especially a festival like Banfax, which by all accounts is very, very well organized. Um, and people tend to really look after each other. So it's really tragic that this should end in this way. Um, but yeah, man, hopefully people honor their legacy on Saturday, the 21st of May in St. George's Park in Bristol. If you're around, definitely go and honor your on honor their legacy. Um, you know, s say your prayers, say your tributes and hug each other in it because that's all we got really. But, that first bit about start, yeah, I can't, man. It's so sad, man. 
so 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 bitterly sad but anyway we move